Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Piehead. Smoking on one of my uh, morning spliffs. You about to be um, jumping into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis spiracy theories. Today's theory, meteors and cannabis. So here's the question. What if cannabis, the plant responsible for some of the most creative, half-finished projects and deepest late-night conversations, didn't evolve on Earth at all? What if, stay with me here, it came from space? Yeah, like a meteor. Some suggest it's possible that cannabis isn't native to our planet. But honestly, are we grasping at space straws or are we on to something? Could this theory be a cosmic joke or are we too high on our own curiosity? Either way, we're going to walk this out, bruh, and see where we end up at. Now, you might be thinking, are we really going to talk about if this plant came from outer space well now that i think about it it doesn't seem entirely impossible but let's see where we end up at have you ever been looking for change around your house and just happen to look between the cushions of your couch and instead of change you find batteries toys maybe a sock could earth in some cosmic sense be the universe's couch just catching whatever odds and ends float our way maybe life or or at least cannabis didn't start here at all maybe it just landed here like when you accidentally bring somebody's tupperware home from a potluck and then decide to keep it imagine an intergalactic party where everyone brought something wine bread cosmic dust and one careless guest accidentally knocked over a bowl of cannabis seeds sending them flying through space oops my bad they say as they continue to enjoy the party never knowing that the seeds eventually crashed down to earth are we just the recipients of some aliens clumsy mistake is earth nothing more than a cosmic carpet where everyone else's mess ends up come to think of it i'm not sure how many things could survive riding a flaming space rock through the atmosphere cannabis seeds seem resilient right maybe it's the universe's way of showing that even the most chaotic moments can lead to something beautiful. Or, you know, it's just a stoner theory that is getting a little bit out of hand. Here's a riddle. I burn and roar with fiery might to lift you high beyond your flight. But when my job is done, I fall. A discorded piece. No use at all. What am I? Alright, let's do a little bit of swerving here. No hard turns. Imagine... There was a distant planet. Let's call it Weedtopia, where fields of cannabis grew like dandelions. It was a peaceful place where the inhabitants, whoever or whatever they were, lived in a blissful THC infused harmony. But because this theory needs some drama, the planet exploded. Boom, gone. Just like that. Seeds of cannabis were flung into space, hitchhiking their way across the cosmos. And somehow, Earth was in the right spot. Like that friend who always manages to catch the bouquet at weddings even when they don't want to. What if ancient alien botanists saw their planet's de demise coming and decided to launch an ark filled with their most precious plants? Cannabis being at the top of the list. Maybe Earth was simply the first planet this cosmotic, cosmotic, cos why do I do this to myself? I get smoked and I try to say words to y'all cosmic seed vault stumbled upon and the cannabis plants found fertile soil shrugged and thought yeah this is dope could our planet be the galactic equivalent of an alien's emergency backup drive obviously that'd be called dope bro. being part of the universe's recycling program hold on that that don't sound dope it's not recycling it's like rehoming re rehomed space weed it does sound eco-friendly when you put it that way here's another riddle for you though silent in space i guide the way i steer your ship so you don't stray with gentle bursts i shift and glide keeping you steady as you ride what am i now i'm no botanist but have you ever wondered why cannabis produces thc in the first place like i get why roses smell good and poison ivy is or well, poison ivy but thc 
What evolutionary purpose does that serve, unless it wasn't evolving for us? What if THC was designed for some alien species with way better Netflix recommendations than we have here? Maybe they needed a chill out plant after a hard day of space travel. You know how cows on earth help plants grow through, let's say, natural fertilization processes? What if there's an alien equivalent, a space cow? They evolved to eat plants containing THC as part of their diet. And THC was just cannabis' way of saying, hey, please don't eat me unless you're an intergalactic herbivore who enjoys a bit of a buzz. Could cannabis' chemical compound have been tailored for a digestive system that's light years away? Okay, we might be doing a little bit more than swerving here. But then again, we don't know everything about the universe. Maybe cannabis was never meant for Earth. Maybe we're just borrowing it. Like when you borrow your neighbor's lawnmower, it takes too long to return it. Here's another riddle for you. I'm in the mix of fuel and air that powers engines everywhere. Combust and push with all my might. I make the rockets fiery flight. What am I? Cannabis is tough. It can grow in harsh conditions like some sort of botanical superhero. Deserts, mountains, probably a neighbor's garden. You know, the one who swear he's growing tomatoes. But what if its toughness is a sign that it's already survived something far worse? What if Earth is like the cushy retirement home for this plant after it spent eons battling radiation radio? Y'all know that was wrong. Radiation and space debris on some distant, inhospitable planet. Maybe cannabis wasn't always this rugged. Perhaps it started as a delicate, soft plant but after spending a meal. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm talking. I don't know why I'm talking. A f- after spending a few million years dodging meteors, solar flares, and other cosmic dangers, it turned into the iller stellar equivalent of a leather clad biker covered in tattoos and saying you don't know what i've been through man now it's on earth just chilling enjoying a margarita and giving off that i've seen some things vibe now we swerving right but it's not totally impossible right maybe cannabis is the plant equivalent of a seasoned marathon runner and now it's just enjoying an easy jog through earth's pleasant environments maybe it's just a really adaptable plant that got lucky but it does seem to be prepared for earth though here's another riddle for you i'm a giant with rings both thin and wide a cosmic jewel you can't reside ice and rock make my sparkle crown in my orbit many moons are found what am i here's a thought what if ancient humans knew cannabis wasn't native to earth but they just rolled with it. Maybe some ancient shaman lit up the first time, had an epiphany, and thought, wow, this plant is way too cool to be from Earth. And then they decided to make it part of their ritual and their medicine and the very important rope-making visit. What if Egyptian pharaohs secretly knew that cannabis was a gift from the stars and considered it a sacred plant that helped them commune with the gods maybe that's why the great pyramids were built with such precision to align perfectly with the constellations from which cannabis originated could cannabis be the ancient egyptians way of saying thank you aliens for the chill vibe we might be starting to get too hard left turn territory or is this starting to actually make sense after all early humans were big into mysterious things they couldn't explain right they built pyramid stonehenge and those giant heads on easter island so why wouldn't they welcome a plant that seems otherworldly at the end of the day maybe the truth is simpler than we think perhaps cannabis is just a plant that's really really good at surviving doesn't care where it lands be it on earth mars or some asteroid drifting through space it just wants to grow like the cosmic equivalent of that one house plant it thrives even when you forget to water it for a month. Maybe cannabis isn't from Earth, but it's more than happy to make itself at home here. What if there's plants like cannabis all over the universe, and Earth just happened to be one of many planets where they've taken root? Maybe on other worlds there are plants that do things we can't even imagine. What if cannabis 
is the universe's way of saying, here's a little something for your troubles. We might be trying to take this a little too far. Is it possible cannabis is just a really cool earth plant? And we're just looking for a reason to make it seem even more special. But why not dream big? After all, even if cannabis didn't come from space, it sure tries to take us there. In the end, is the theory that cannabis seeds arrived on Earth aboard a meteor realistic? I mean, sure, it's a fun idea. But whether or not it's true, one thing's for sure. Cannabis has a way of making us question everything, even the universe itself. Maybe that's the point. Whether it comes from Earth or beyond the stars, the magic of cannabis lies not in where it comes from, but the journey it takes us on. The answers to the riddles. Rocket booster, thruster, propellant, Saturn. I'll see y'all on the next one, bro.